Hey guys, so the first thing I want to say today is that this piece does not belong to me. This character is actually of one of my Twitch subs' friends. Once a month I do a sub draw on Twitch where they receive a free drawing and for this one the winner was at Spike the Pichu. While this character was requested by them, the character actually belongs to at Aries underscore Alyssa GD on Twitter. Spike was super sweet and requested that their friends OC be drawn and so that's exactly what I did. So back to the original topic of this video, how I found my art style. I will admit this is going to be a bit of a rant, but I'll do my best to keep it short and sweet so you guys can simply enjoy the process video. The first thing that I want to say is that there is absolutely styles out there. There's anime, there's cartoon, there's realism. Those are very clear and precise styles. While I feel that many people's styles can be put under those categories, I feel like having a style, there's just too much pressure on people to have one. Um, it can be really important depending on where you want to take your art, but I feel like sometimes when people are stressing out about not having a style, that's, that's not even what's on their mind. And I'm going to explain to you how I kind of thought about it and how I came to where I am now. While I knew I didn't want to do realism, one of the biggest things that you need to focus on before probably settling into a style is figuring out anatomy. One of my best friends at Eel Bunny on Instagram, they said something to me that really, really kind of hits home in this sense, and that's that you can't break the rules unless you know the rules. Ultimately, my main focus when I was trying to create art was to make sure that it looked correct atomically. It, which can be really, really hard, especially in the beginning, but I feel like I'm really happy that I focused on that instead of focusing on my style. Um, between trying to learn that anatomy and trying to simply make things look the way that I wanted them to, it was enough stress on me um, instead of asking myself um, if my style was pretty enough. However, you ultimately, you will get to that point, and I feel like a lot of people are, and this is kind of how I see it. When you're learning to draw, you're often, um, you're taking a lot of examples that you see, whether it's on other people's YouTube videos, their art, their Instagram, their Twitter, and you see how they draw and you're like, oh, I think that's really cool. I'm gonna try drawing it like that. For example, my eyes. Um, I don't remember who I referenced when I originally started drawing them, but now this is how I like to draw them. My lips, this is how I like to draw them draw that little cutout in the lip for some weird reason that I always did and eventually I just drew what I enjoyed and how I enjoyed and that's what became my style I didn't ask myself oh how am I going to draw the eyes today because I want to make sure it's stylized correctly it was just oh this is how I how I like to draw it so that's what I did. It will change on occasion, like when I did my last video when I drew Sailor Moon. Obviously, I wanted her to have very big, very anime eyes. And so I did that, but I still kept it to my style, my coloring style, my eyelash style. But again, I, I didn't tell myself to do these things. It's just simply what I, why, what I enjoy drawing. Ultimately, I think it's really important to teach yourself the basics um, start with drawing profiles then start with drawing faces forward start with noses start with eyes learn everything that you can and just be the best artist that you can be ultimately all artists are forever learning forever even the amazing Ross draws says all the time that he is still learning and I think that's awesome to hear because it makes artists that are smaller remember that you know, this is, this is always going to be the process and just enjoy the process. It makes me really sad to see a lot of artists really stressing about what their style should be and how they don't have a style. And I just don't think that that's personally the most important part. Basically what I'm saying is just enjoy your art. Don't force yourself to draw eyes or lips or hair a certain way just because other people seem to like it on other people's art. Do what you like. Do what you like to draw. A kind of example is the way that I draw hair. I originally thought it was super fun and good and, you know, I enjoyed it a lot. And then people started calling it ribbon hair and I used to take it kind of as an insult. Um, but now I don't because ribbon hair is just my style. But I, I didn't consciously tell myself 
this is how I'm going to draw it. It's just kind of how my brain and my pencil created the hair and this is kind of where we ended up. Just remember to enjoy yourself and enjoy the process and your style will come with time. If you need a certain style, for example, animes can be very specific um, or cartoon or anything like that, definitely you can focus on it, but it'll still eventually turn out to be your own. Even if it's just the way you color or shade. It's also important to remember that you don't always have to draw in the same style. One of my favorite artists at Hey Mary Jean, I've mentioned her numerous times, I'm sure. She draws a lot of semi-realism, sparkly, beautiful, and I love it so much. And then she will do something a bit more cartoony, but I could see that without seeing her name and still know that it's hers. Her style is still in every piece of art that she draws. And I think that's important to remember that most artists are like that. This is your style. No matter how you draw it, it is still your style. On that note, I'm going to end it there. I'm sorry for the little rant. I hope I didn't irritate you too much. I just, I want all you artists, especially ones that are smaller and they're still learning and that has this, this stress on their shoulders. I just want you to remember to enjoy every bit of art, the whole process, all of it, even the frustrating, annoying, horrible pieces that there, there is going to be in everything that you do and love. Um, so yeah, just remember to have fun and... I will see you in the next one. Bye.